Hey my loves, we're about to do something incredibly fun today. Drum rolls please. And it's the famous James Paul bubblegum pop eyeshadow look. Yay! Ooh, I'm gonna kill it. I, I can already feel it. Let's go ahead and get started, guys. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh -huh. So just like anything else in life, you have to have a good foundation or base. We're not doing any eye look without first priming. Like sis, please, where are you going? For my base, I'm using the NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk and spreading that all over my eyelids to get the shadows to pop as much as possible. And then I'm going to use my ring finger to blend in the mug, okay? Harsh lines in 2020, <laughs> oh no sis, well. <laughs> Actually, 2020 has been quite harsh. We'll forgive you until January 21st of 2021, okay? <laughs> Next, because I have mad trust issues, guys, I'm going in with another NYX product, and this is their pigment primer. This thing is dope, guys. But did I need it? No. Am I extra? Yes. So I just let that dry down a little bit before going in with my first color. Going in with my Day Zero BH Cosmetics 120 Color First Edition Eyeshadow Palette, I'm going in with this light pink in and above my crease using a wide blending brush. Let me tell you guys, for this look, you are going to blend till your hands and arms start to beg. Like, I beg, auntie, it don't do. But no pain, no what? No gain. That's right. Ugh, this is such a beautiful pink. The next color is this plum shade, which I'm stamping onto the outer corners of my eyes. Later on, I'll also be placing this into the inner portions as well to create that halo look. Once again, my darlings, we blend. <laughs> I'm also going to drag that eyeshadow at the outer corners outward a little bit more just to give my eyes that sexy lift. You know what I mean? <laughs> Guys, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I feel like I'm just showing you guys my trust issues in this video. I'm going in once again with the pigment primer. <laughs> this is going where I'll be placing the shimmer shadow. I didn't want to tell any stories about how this look didn't come together because blah 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 blah. So like see, it must come together. Amen? <laughs> Amen. So I went in with a burnt orange type of shade right next to the plum shade as a little bit of a transition into the center portion of the eyes. From my Almay eyeshadow palette in Fabulista, I'm using this champagne press pigment. I haven't used a pigment this lightly colored because I always feel like it'll look ashy because you know, <laughs> dark skin. But not in this ensemble sis, like as a matter of fact, I really like this look on my skin tone. Once again, I went with the pigment primer towards the inner corner to prep for the inner corner highlight. I used the same shade we used in the center portion of the lid. For my under eye, I went in with the plum shade first and then I smoked it out with the light pink we started with to get that mirror effect. 
So basically the color from the lids are reflected onto the under eye area. I went ahead to apply some mascara and lashes. Everything just always looks better with lashes. Like, what? I'm already striking poses. <laughs> and to seal everything in, I'm going in with my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray, I believe. And this is it, my loves. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, let me know your thoughts in the comment section. And please also give this a thumbs up. It costs nothing, but it really, really helps me. If you're interested in checking out how I did the rest of my face for this look, check out my previous video. It's a very fun Get Ready With Me style cover. Also, feel free to check out my music. I have all of the links in the description bar below. You can also follow me on Instagram. I'm at Itunu Pepper. The link to my husband and I's channel is also in the description bar below. Feel free to check us out as well. And that's it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching and God willing, I'll see you in the next one. Toodles!